Here's a five minute tech tip from Troy and Joan on setting up your Google Classroom. I love Google Classroom and I think it's great for teachers to use at the beginning of the year. And very easy. So let's see how easy it is. I'm in my Google Classroom dashboard and I'm going to click the plus sign and create a class. I want you to know that on your dashboard, these show up in the order in which you make them. So I'm going to do a naming convention here. I'm going to name my class and I'm going to put my name. This section It's kind of like a subheader. So I'm going to make this the time that my classroom meets and I'm going to make it the last one because that's going to be at the end on my dashboard. And so Google creates this with a lovely theme that is based on the name that it saw. That looks good already, doesn't it, Troy? It does. But you can come over and select a theme. And you've seen all these beautifully colored themes. They're terrific. Yeah, if you're stressed out about this, choosing, choosing one of their themes is very simple and, and a good way to start. Although you said you like to upload a photo sometimes. And you can do that as long as it's a good, high-quality photo. Yes, I do like to upload my own photos. <laughs> All right. Under the uh, name of your class, you'll see Stream, Students, and About. Let's click on Students. There are two ways that students can join your class. You can invite them, and you can do that by typing their names and finding them in your domain. Or if your school has set up the groups for each of your classes, you can join it with a group of students. I prefer, however, the other way, which is by posting a code for the students to join themselves. You had an idea of how to post that code, didn't you, Troy? Yes, I, I like that if they write it in their planner or somewhere um, that they're going to be able to reaccess it because sometimes when students are experimenting with the different features, they'll unenroll themselves in the, in the class and then they'll need to re-enroll. If they have that code written down, they can re-enroll in the class at any time they want. And our school likes to post it on the wall in the classroom. One more setting is I'd like every teacher to start with only teachers can post or comment because later as you get used to using Google Classroom, you will be able to use the discussion feature much better. Click on the About section. This is a place to describe your class maybe your office hours, maybe your phone number, maybe where the class meets. Those are all places for you to put in here. My favorite is adding materials. You can add anything, including a syllabus, an introductory video, a podcast link. All of those things are easy to add in Classroom, any file type. This one could be a PDF. Also in the About section, is a Google Calendar. Um, I want you to know that this is the actual Google Calendar just like you would find uh, in your account and every Google Classroom has its own and you can share those out publicly with your parents which is real helpful when they're looking at due dates. And you and, can set up a Google Classroom at the beginning of the year which is probably best, but you can also set them up mid-year. Um, I know lots of teachers who've set them up mid-year after they've gotten some other things in, in line and in place. So, so don't feel like you have to have set it up at the beginning of the year. If, if it's mid-year and you need to set it up, you can still set it up. Right. So um, we'll do another tech tip about how to use Google Classroom coming up.